Hey kid, welcome to an extremely colorful kid time story time. Do you, by any chance, have an active imagination? I brought a, I brought a brush. This one's for me. Do you maybe think that you're a little restless? And I brought one for you too. Uh, maybe, maybe you're a bit of a dreamer. I don't know what this one does, but I think it's really cool. So here. Uh, and maybe it's cool. You can get a little bit jittery. This one, this one, I like it because no, it kind of reminds you of the color of your hair. This part. Here you go. No, oh, <clears throat> thank you, Green Bear. Uh, maybe you are super energetic. Ah, this one's good for corners. Okay. Uh, maybe you need focus and inspiration. And this one is really good for tiny, tiny, tiny details on your painting. Uh, what are you talking about? I was talking about a paintbrush for Paco. Oh, Paco is my bud in art class. So can we read his story first and then we do the painting? Because I think you and Paco might have a lot in common as well as maybe that kid right there. What? We have a lot in common? You are so lucky. Let's read this thing and then, and then we can paint. Yes, and then I will have a surprise for you. Oh, oh can I have it now? After the book. Okay, okay, okay. All right. <clears throat> I'm gonna, I'm just gonna put these over to the, just over to the, right here. I'll put them there. Put them there. Are you ready? Oh, splash. I told you it was going to be colorful. I wasn't kidding. Paco gazed out at the late morning sun. He wondered why recess had not yet begun. He wanted to go to El Campo and play and act like a matador shouting, Ole! El Campo, that's out in the field, outside, in the, in the wide open spaces. He thought about football and scoring a goal. He wanted to run in the sun, hace sol. Hace sol means it's sunny outside. He wants to be out in it. He longed for his lunch with manzanas and cheese. He yearned for a nap underneath the big trees. Manzanas are apples and cheese is cheese. And it's also queso, like the big queso. Paco, he heard. It was El Profesor. Let's follow the lesson, he said. Por favor. Paco blushed. Ooh, ooh, look at that. Turning a light shade of red, he sank in his chair and he lowered his head. El Profesor, the professor, caught him daydreaming and told them to, por favor, please pay attention. But one hour later, he could not sit still. He daydreamed and looked out the window sill. He lifted his lapis. You know what a lapis is? It's a pencil, like this giant pencil. He lifted his lapis and started to draw the life in his pueblo, the world that he saw. Oh, he is talented. He colored montañas that stretched to the sky. You can tell what a montaña is, can't you? A mountain that stretched to the sky with pajaros <laughs> swooping down and then whoosh, flying high. He doodled his pictures and made a retrato with mommy and papi and Pancho, his gato. Meow. You know what a gato is. Meow. Paco, caramba, Professor cried. He leaned on the desk and his eyes opened wide. <gasps> is he in trouble? Or, 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 I don't know, I mean, he's smiling. He doesn't look mad. Paco, he whispered, you must come with me. There's a salon de clase. I need you to see. A salon de clase, a different classroom that he needs to go to? Ooh, I hope it's not detention. Oh, I hope not. Later, oh, burst of color, burst of color. I'm overwhelmed with beautiful colors. Later, they walked down the hall to a room with easels and brushes and colors in bloom. Do you see it? Do you see it? They're heading towards it right there. It looks like an art class. <gasps> Pink, rosado, purple, morado. A fiery orange, anaranjado, verde, the green, in a vine of ripe grapes, rojo, the red, in the matador's cape. Ole! Look at it. All the colors of life bursting onto the canvas. You know, this, somebody's painting here some chickens, somebody's painting a horse, and oh, 
here's a blank canvas waiting for a talented artist to bring color to it like azul the blue in a beautiful sky blanco the white in the clouds floating by amarillo the rays of the sun shining bright negro the black of el campo at night look at that he is on cloud nine flying through the sky dreaming of the possibilities next paco picked out a brush un pincel he chose a few paints he mixed them up well because that's what artists do you pick paints and then sometimes you mix paints to make a whole other color that you didn't have before he painted and painted and when he was through his heart burst in green yellow orange and blue ah because paco expresses himself in vivid technicolor professor clapped and said que talentoso your artwork is brilliant and maravilloso paco was grateful and felt so contento he knew this was such an important momento paco looked up at his proud professor who said you're a painter tu eres pintor pintor is painter momento moment contento is co content which is the word that we usually use is happy contento is happy and maravilloso is marvelous talentoso is talented see when you start seeing how similar the words are it becomes easy to pick up the second language later that night Baco crawled into bed, a palette of colors swirling in his head, negro y blanco, azul y rosado, rojo and verde y anaranjado, black and white, blue and pink, red and green and orange-ish. How about that for all the colors? He fell asleep. <sighs> Oh, he had a very fulfilling day, very exciting. Holding the brush to his heart and dreamed of the new world he'd found full of art. Oh, isn't that great? And also, because the writer of this book, Tracy Kyle, is better known as Senora Kyle to her Spanish students, she's included all these words in spanish to english with the pronunciation so you can learn like ole means hooray and football is soccer and retrato is portrait and all the words that you learned in here that i translated for you she puts them in there so that you can practice and learn on your own now now is it time yes it is time and look what i got you oh, i can't wait i can't wait Ta -da! You got me new paints! Oh, storyteller, you're the best! Oh, can you carry this for me? This is like the size of me. Yeah, yeah, I've got it, I've got it. I put it over here with your easel. Yes! Okay, kid, well, go out there and get creative and find your passion and, and kind of basically listen to your professor because otherwise you get in trouble in class if you daydream too much. But you can put your dreams on canvas or find whatever inspires you. Exactly! Couldn't have said it better myself. I know. I'm very good at this. No, you are. See you next time, kid. You want to do this since you're so good at it? Okay. See you next time, kid. And don't forget to subscribe because we do all kinds of cool things around here on Kid